Hi everybody, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I'm here today with a Tiffany haul as promised in my last video. So I have been on the hunt for some particular items and I actually just got them delivered today. So I'm super excited to film this and share them with you. We're gonna open up this box and just give a little sneak peek before we go more into depth on some of these items. A little backstory for anybody who might be new to my channel. Um, I am a Tiffany collector. I used to be a Tiffany employee. I worked there for seven years between the ages of 18 and 24. So it was a really formative period of my life. I loved that job and I have a lot of really great memories working for Tiffany. So that is why I love the brand so much and why I still collect these items. You know, I was able to purchase a lot of pieces as an employee at a really discounted rate, which really helped jumpstart my collection, obviously. But now that I'm older and I work in a completely different field, I still continue to collect Tiffany. And I do a lot of purchasing on the pre-loved market now, especially for discontinued items. So just, just so you know, um, that is really where my love for the brand comes from. It's a part of my history and um, I really kind of grew up working in the Tiffany store so I will always have a love for this brand it will always be my favorite okay so here is my newest bracelet this is the blue enamel clasping link bracelet and I filled the entire thing with various blue enamel Tiffany charms that I was able to find some of them I had already um, but a good number of these I actually just received and I love them. I think they're so adorable. And yes, yeah, so we're gonna go through each charm one by one. I'm gonna look a little closer at each one. First off, here is the blue enamel clasping link bracelet. So I had the sterling silver version of this bracelet, but I've always loved the blue enamel. So when I was able to find this under retail, I did grab it. And the wonderful thing about the clasping link bracelet is that each of these oval links opens up. So you can very easily add and remove charms and sort of reorganize your bracelet. So I love that, especially if you're someone like me who has, you know, a collection of various charms. This makes it super easy and fun to um, to reorganize your charms and build different bracelets depending on the season or the day, however you choose to do that. So it's just a really convenient and really beautiful bracelet. Okay, and so the first charm on my bracelet is this blue enamel heart lock charm and it is enameled on both sides. It is so beautiful, I think. And the Tiffany stamping on this piece is on the edge of the charm here. So quite small, but it is marked T and Co AG925. Beautiful. I wear this on a necklace um, sometimes as well. The next charm here is my return to Tiffany charm in the blue enamel. So very similar to the classic Tiffany and Company heart tag, but the stamping is actually done in that Tiffany blue enamel. So really, really cute. I've had this piece for many years. Next is my blue enamel heart key. Another piece that is not new to me that I've had in my collection marked on the back here. This one I also wear on a necklace pretty often. Now the next charm, this one is new. I just recently found this on Fashion File and it's the little party hat charm. I think it's so adorable. Obviously done in the blue enamel with little sterling silver dots and this adorable little string. Now I will say this bracelet isn't something I'm going to wear daily and with a charm like this I can see this little chain just pulling off and breaking so easily so it's something I'm going to be a little more careful with but it is absolutely adorable. I love it. And then this charm I'm really excited about. This is the little convertible charm. Now this one is really hard to find. I see this on resale sites upwards of $600. It is harder to find and definitely one that people are looking for. So here's the marking on the bottom. And this one is in really nice condition. It is so cute. The little steering wheel, the whole interior, just the details on it are adorable. It does have a little um, Tiffany & Company license plate. Ugh, it's just so cute. So I was really excited to find this one. Next is the Return to Tiffany heart tag charm. There's a little tarnishing on this. I need to clean that up a little bit. And then with the blue enamel on the back side, this is in the small size. Next is the 1837 circle charm with the little enamel in the center. I think this one's just so cute and this has been discontinued for a while.
Next is this little cupcake charm, which is super adorable. It's got the design of the classic Tiffany bow box, uh, but in a little cupcake. And this one is marked on the bottom right here. Next up is my gingerbread man. This one I picked up around the holidays this year. Another uh, fashion file find, I believe. He is marked on the back here. This is another one that's kind of hard to find, but really all of these now, now that they've been discontinued. Um, and then here is another blue enamel heart tag charm. This one in the classic medium size. And then next is the bow box charm. Just such a classic piece. Love it. All done in blue enamel. And then on the bottom is where the marking for this one is. And then finally, the little gift bag charm. This one's adorable. This is one of the only enamel charms that is still currently available, on, at least on the US website. Uh, it's currently retailing for $3.75, which is crazy. I remember selling this for $1.50 <laughs> back when I worked there. So, uh, you know, times change. Uh, it's been nearly a decade, so I guess I'm not surprised. Um, but yeah, that is my collection of blue enamel charms now, and I love this. I just think it is so beautiful. Something I wanted to mention about the enamel pieces for... Anybody else who is interested in these items, um, you know, you do have to be a little more careful with enamel pieces. Um, enamel is essentially an applied coating that sits on top of the silver. So, you know, over time and if you wear this and kind of knock it around, the enamel can chip, you can get scratches, the enamel can also discolor. So you just want to be a little more careful with the enamel pieces, um, specifically certain chemicals, you know, you don't want to wear this into a chlorinated pool or a hot tub. And you also want to be really careful with tanning lotion. So that's a big culprit. I have seen these charms turn really honestly like brown in color from putting on, you know, self tanner and having it not dry all the way and just getting into the enamel. So the same way that it colors your skin, it can discolor this enamel as well. So just something to be aware of if uh, you have any of these enamel pieces or you are interested in purchasing any. Here is my sterling silver version of the clasping link bracelet. So it's same exact design just without the enamel on the clasps. And I've shown you most of these charms. Um, the piece I picked up did have duplicates of a few of these enamel charms. So I added them on to this bracelet here. So I've shown this before, but just thought I would share what this one is looking like now. So now I have this beautiful charm bracelet that has a combination of the all silver charms and the enamel. And then this fully enameled bracelet, which I just love. It just, the blue enamel just makes me happy just looking at these charms. They're so adorable. They bring me joy. That's why I collect them. Um, and then another piece, uh, you know, that just I think looks beautiful stacked with these bracelets is the Amazonite bead bracelet, which I have shared here before, but now that I have all this blue enamel, I think that's going to make such a beautiful stack. And I'm going to try to film some try-ons um, and drop them into this video for you all just to kind of share that. And then one other piece that I don't know that I shared here yet, I picked this up a while ago, is this wire bangle bracelet. So this is another discontinued item, uh, but it's really nice to add charms onto. So if I decide to, I can remove any of these charms and thread them onto this little bangle and have this filled up with charms, which I think looks really adorable. Maybe I'll do that and insert a shot of that as well. And this one is marked just right up here. And um, it's just a really beautiful, kind of easy to wear style and something a little different than just the classic link bracelet. So I hope this video was fun to watch. I hope you enjoyed seeing these charms. Um, I'm still on the hunt for more charms, I think that's something I'm going to continue to collect, especially now that they've been discontinued. And honestly, I really hope Tiffany comes out with a new range of charms. Um, that would be amazing. I would really love to see that. So I'm going to keep an eye out. If that happens, I'll be sure to let you know. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the charms. Are you upset they discontinued them? I know I am. <laughs> Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.